Hey Simmers, I'm back with my build tours. Today we have a double feature. We have both the house and the pro and the rent, uh, the retail property that these people uh, run. We will begin with their house. It, unlike most of my builds that I've been doing late a lot lately, it's, which have been modern, this is more of a ranch type single floor. There's garage off to the side. Not overly decorated, not filled with over with clutter. We enter into the foyer, which branches off to pretty much every room in the house. First, we have the living room. Uh, very beige, bland, nothing big and exciting. The back wall gives a hint of what kind of company they run. Our next trip is into the, the uh, kitchen dining room area which has a built-in laundry facility as well. Uh, I figured they had a lot of woods, uh, very earthy and all that. Our next stop is the adult's uh, bedroom. I kind of went with classy, kind of black and white with the paintings being the pops of color. Then we go into their the teen's uh, bedroom. We have a gamer and streamer here they're set up, they've painted their walls green so they can do all their uh, back, all their video editing, have their green screen work. Then, I hope you didn't hear me scratching my head. Then we have the bathroom. It's a bathroom. What can I say about a bathroom? Uh, the property they are on isn't that big, so there isn't that much to the backyard. You basically go out, nothing there, just a pathway leading to the garage uh, in which I, yes, I used live edit objects and actually gave them vehicles. They have a workbench. It's not overly that exciting. It's a garage. Here we go up. Yeah, it's rainy in game. I kept on having to speed up for other videos just to get to points where it wasn't raining for other video parts. But as you can see, it's just a simple kind of vanilla house. And now their business. They own the floor shop. I can see tons of uh, beautiful plants. They've got a lovely fountain out front. Uh, green building because it's plants. Uh, I will say that one of the uh, owners have to be a wizard because we do have floating objects, uh, which is my fault. Uh, because when I place stuff, I'm not looking at it from this view. Uh, I'm looking at it from the traditional Sims 4 view, so it looks like they're sitting on top of things, but in reality, they're actually floating, as you can see with those plants. I made sure to have some plants in these planters just to make it look like they do sell uh, stuff. On the counter, you probably didn't see it, but there's a bunch of seeds, including uh, cow plant seeds. Here in the back, you can see they have trees that they can sell out and various lawn decorations and ornaments. Uh, the pink flower pot is the, their top seller. It, it's what keeps them in business, really. Uh, in this case, we're touring around. I left all these planters empty. They'd be technically technically full of uh, flowers. You have the flowers workstations. You have a small bathroom that has no toilet paper. They ran out. And then we come back out. We go behind the counter. As you can see, there's packages of seeds, floating plants. Yeah, I kind of dwelled on that. But it's set up so that they can sell all their beautiful flower bouquets they make, all the flower arrangements that you can get. So that's this double feature. I have my video for Friday all done up. I need just to edit it and all that. So until Friday, Susu.